Hello, my name is Laura Baccio, and I will be representing WPI's Wildlife Crossing Development, sponsored by Otama University. In the fall of 2019, my colleagues, Hannah Goddard, Samantha Lohr, Megan Olson, and I traveled to the Cherokee province in Panama to, to conduct research. Here are our findings. All over the globe, there has been a strain on biodiversity. As populations grow and develop into cities, more roads and infrastructure have been developed that slice um, into the nature. This causes a decline in biodiversity through losses in habitat connectivity, wildlife permeability, and natural migration patterns. Such development as Highway 1, or the Pan American Highway, in, Bati in the Batipa Peninsula of Panama now acts as a physical barrier to the 115 animal species that populate the area. This causes a high number of animal vehicle collisions. Currently, the only access animals have is through openings in Jersey barriers as depicted here. Even so, once onto the highway, there are no safety measures for wildlife crossing or autom automotive passengers. The issue of fragmented wildlife habitat is prevalent in many countries. Through extensive background research, our team was able to highlight a successful solution to the issue at hand, landscape bridges. The concept here is a vegetated overpass that mimics the natural surroundings of the area for animals to safely travel over major roads and return to their natural migration patterns. One success story is pictured at the top left of this slide in Banff National Park. With all of this in mind, our team developed a project statement. The goal of this project was to design a, develop a wildlife crossing bridge to effectively connect the habitats on the Batipa Peninsula that have been sliced by Highway 1, enabling animals to cross safely and allowing for permeable population flow. The area highlighted in red is our target zone with the yellow line depicting the major highway um, and cause for animal vehicle collisions. In order to complete our project goal, our team focused on three main objectives. The first objective was to identify the parameters of the design through data collection. Using the resources provided by Otama University and the Batipa Field Institute, we were able to do a topographical assessment and take highway measurements. Additionally, we conducted interviews with our sponsor to understand the local impacts of the highway and the intentions for the wildlife crossing. The second objective we focused on was to create and refine the crossing design. With the sponsor's intentions in mind, we drafted a preliminary structure. Additionally, we cataloged the local flora to implement on the crossing and the fauna that would potentially be using the crossing. Finally, we did an analysis of the potential forces on the design. The third and final objective we focused on was to provide the finalized design using AutoCAD and Revit software. AutoCAD was used primarily to deliver the dimensions and specifications of the structure while Revit provided a conceptual rendering with a flyover feature depicting the incorporated flora. In our data collection phase, we created a detailed catalog of the flora and fauna native to the area. Here you can see a snippet of the catalog. The photo on the right depicts a natural barrier of shrubbery next to a man-made Jersey barrier, which would later become part of our design considerations. The photo on the bottom is a vetiver, a locally grown plant that naturally combats erosion. Erosion is a major issue in the Batipa Peninsula. The top right photo shows extensive nutrient depletion in the red coloration of the soil. As previously mentioned, vetiver is a natural solution to this issue. Our team designed the crossing to incorporate a sufficient amount of vetiver to prevent erosion. Additionally, man-made and natural fencing is a design consideration our team focused on as a safety, safety measure for the animal and a sort of funnel for wildlife. Lastly, 
Native species from our flora catalog were incorporated in our design to create an extension of the surrounding habitats. After much discussion with our sponsor, we developed our final design. In the right, on the right, you can see our proposed crossing location located not far from the Batipa Field Institute entrance and local monkey um, canopy crossing. This placement would connect the mountains of the Gualaca Corridor to the north and the mangroves of the Cherokee Gulf to the south. On the left, you can see a snippet of our final AutoCAD design. With slab and wing wall dimensions, this design should be ready for final structural analysis and later, potentially, construction. The Autodesk Revit rendering on the bottom left corner of the screen was part of our flyover view that showed a two-scale model of our design. Finally, with the final overpass design in hand, it is the hope of our team that the University of Otima will have the opportunity to pitch the project to potential sponsors for funding and to the Panamanian government for permission to move forward with construction. The construction of this overpass would help hundreds of animal species living in Batipa by providing a safe way to cross the four lane highway. We would like to extend a special thank you to the many individuals who aided in the successful completion of this project. From the University of Otima, we would like to thank Francisco Ugal, Edmundo Gonzalez, and Mr. Luis Rios Espinosa. From Worcester Polytechnic Institute, we would like to thank professors Aaron Sekulich, Tahar Alkochi, and Leonard Albano. Thank you so much.